Welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast. I'm your host, Liam McCallion, also known as the Stats Guy. Absolutely pumped for the summer of cricket ahead. As always, we are joined by Leo Malal. He's actually turned up today. It's he's up and about. Day. No, it's a sad day. Why is it a sad day? Though? Where's Marcus? Marcus, he's nowhere to be seen. He's a little bit sick. We, so. should have, we need to get like cardboard cutouts of everyone and just like stick we them around actually. when like one of them's sick. That would bit, look a bit weird, but yeah. I mean, when, well, <laughs> to be fair, when you're sick, yes. it'll actually like be no difference. Just have the car, cut out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know about that. I want to see you, you host and things like that. We'll see. Oh, I've, done that. I've done that before. <laughs> You've done it before. You've done it before. I was yes, petrified. It is a sad day. No, uh, no Marcus, no but he'll, Marcus. Be, he'll be back next time. So it's all good. Oh, maybe he's leaving us for good. Maybe this maybe. is just an excuse. Maybe. For the record, he's got food poisoning. So. For, and also for the record, he loves this show. And if, if he this can choose any show, show, this is his yes. favorite show, like Gerald uh, behind the camera there. The summer of cricket is here. As I mentioned, we're going to go through a huge Australia versus Pakistan ODI series preview today. So that starts yep. on Monday. Uh, what are we saying? About a six away, two sixes two away Travis to the G. Two Travis head sixes. Two Travis head sixes away to the G. One Chris Lynn six against Sean Taylor. <laughs> yeah, that was huge. A Chris Gale six possibly yeah, as well. Possibly. Very close to the G. So we'll be there on Monday, November 4th. So we're going to preview that with some squad announcements, our predicted 11s, answer some big questions. And yeah, make sure you get in the comments as well because we want to do some more fan comment interactions as yes, well. Yes, absolutely. Talking about those comments, make sure you get around this podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, subscribe to the YouTube uh, Cricket Today podcast. And all the socials as well. Cricket Today AU. We're doing a lot of different socials. We're doing head-to-head uh, best bowlers, yes, best batter sort of picks. Yes. We're doing yeah, a lot of I fun. I think I'm dominating you in those, by the way. Nah. <laughs> you, oh. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll have to uh, yeah, have a debate about that. Maybe in the comments, <laughs> let me know on the socials. All right. We don't always do news on this, but there's just a lot happened in the last week. So I thought- A lot. Well, you got four dot points. It's not that much. Oh, that's a lot more than well, we usually for, talk about. For late October. For late October, summer True. of cricket just started. There's a lot of happened. So- Starting off with the news, Matty Wade announced his retirement. I think he- uh, in Give, terms us, of give stats, us a nice Gary. Nice Gary! No, that one, what was that? You went too eager on that one. You oh, gotta you be relaxed. Oh. So pretend you go, you're, pretend you're taking in the ball. You're going, nice Gary! <laughs> oh yeah, that was, that was actually yes, pretty good. On, that was actually mates. pretty good. There we go. Sorry for touching the mic. <laughs> it starts all right. Uh, yeah, he was a- the bit. Yeah, exactly. Nice Gary. He, he definitely uh, started that. I was at the G on, uh, I think it was Boxing Day, yeah, day so two. Yeah, so they planned it on his- Third ball. Someone made it. an event with or second ball. Second ball of the day. Uh, I think it was Boxing Day day two, probably four years ago. I'd say uh, that was hilarious. Yeah, when and he got the, the wicket. He got the wicket, and it was against Pakistan, the whole too, crowd actually. was going to go nice, Gary, was and he Pakistan? got a wicket. Um, for some reason, I'm leaning towards Sri Lanka, but it might have been. It might have been Pakistan. I thought it was yeah. Pakistan, but, but yeah, that was so funny. That, that was moment. just like everything. It was our first wicket of the day. I think. Yeah, everyone was about and to yell everyone, nice, Gary, and and then uh, Nathan Lyon, Gary got a wicket. So everyone's gone. How good? That was nuts. But yeah, he had a pretty good career. We got his uh, stats and averages here. 30 t- uh, test run average, averaged uh, 26 runs in ODIs and 26 runs in T20 internationals. Yeah. Really solid keeper. Wouldn't say one of the greats, but in terms of good personality, got what do you have? 400s, 550s in tests. Like pretty solid player. Yeah, he was a key contributor in yeah. the 2021 World Cup. Yep. Um, for T20. Down uh, Pakistan in that yes. famous uh, semi final, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, him and uh, Stoinis. Yeah. They're nervous, we're calm. That yeah. was his uh, well, famous. Would you argue that was, sorry, I know he said it, but Stoinis is the one that made it public. Would you say it was the way Stoinis sort of said it? No, I just think it's funny because apparently Matty Wade is a very intense, like off yeah. the field, he's a, he's a funny guy. <laughs> on the field, he's so intense. Yeah. And I'm just picturing, Stoinis did make it funny on Great Cricketer, I think yeah, he talked about it. Yeah, that was awesome, that clip. Um, but, just I just laugh every time I hear they're nervous we're coming. Imagine you're yeah. batting with someone and you're just like, oh, we're sure. is co- they're nervous we're well, coming. So the way the way Stoyan has painted it was he ca- comes out, Maxi yeah. goes out reverse sweeping, he's stranded, yeah. waits out going like a he's like an annoying little kid at the park. Yeah, yeah. He's like <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna run two. I'm coming back for two, yeah, big boy. Yeah, I'm right. coming back for two, big boy. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. It actually would calm you down, batting with Matty Wade because he's so intense. <laughs> I so think it got, could stress you out though. It's like a do oh, do I would or die. Do I would or die. Semi final. Yeah, he's like fire and ice. I reckon that, that would work pretty well if you're batting with Matty <laughs> Wade. But yeah, we love a bit of Matty Wade on this podcast. Dominated for the. Uh, the Hobart Hurricane. I'm still sure he's going to play for a fair few yeah, more years in the sure. Big Bash and things like that. So we can still watch him there. He's an absolute yep, legend. Definitely. Next one, uh, talking about the Big Bash. The leadership <laughs> ban has been lifted for Davey Warner. Yeah, this is always coming, wasn't he's it? He's had a big week, Davey Warner, saying he's going to come back in the uh, test team. Shut up, mate. Just big week for calm down. His, his stature. His stature, yeah. So uh, I think that leadership ban is going to be lifted for the Sydney Thunder. Do you reckon that's fair or I don't know yeah, how I, I feel about I, that? I, like, I think it's fair. It's just yeah. the Thunder. Like... Mm. Well, like he's never going to be a leader like for Australia. Sanger was probably going to be captain, but he, Sanger? like he, no, Chris like, Green usually is. I think oh, Green, yeah. yeah. Sanger, Sanger was out there in the leadership, but 
his form's dropped a little bit. So I'm okay with it. You're okay. I, I think it's a little bit of a bad look. I don't know. He's he's hasn't really done many himself years, any favor. Like, what six years now? Yeah, might have been longer. Yeah, and yeah. it's just big bash. Like, oh, fair it's enough. Not, it's not anything major. Yeah, I'll give you that. It's not like a Australian duties. I think it's okay. All right, fair enough. I wonder what Marcus thinks on it, though. Yeah, we'll have to hear about yeah. that next week. We'll have to get him a video call next week when, if he's still sick. Yeah, yeah on, the, <laughs> Just, on the toilet. On the, on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Marcus. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, next one on the news, Jason Gillespie will coach Pakistan against Australia in this up upcoming series. So Ooh. Gillespie, Dizzy, absolute Aussie legend uh, in the test world and uh, one day world as well. Coach the Strikers. Coach the Strikers. Coached, uh, I think it was Leicestershire or Gloucestershire. In the uh, one of the in shears, one of the shears, uh, absolutely freak coach. He's just been coaching the tests of Pakistan, but he had a big argument uh, with the uh, ODI coach, and the ODI coach says, "No, nah. Gary Kirsten Gary goes, no, nah, I'm yep. uh, stepping down, and you're just going to have to coach." So he only Jeez. found out this week, and Australia play Pakistan next week. So just a bit of a funny one that an Are you Aussie get legend. Pay rise for that, surely. Pay rise, yeah, probably. Doesn't He's already be on a lot. Work. Like yeah. imagine how much the Pakistan cricket board have given Jason mm. Gillespie for. That'd be a big pay. They, I want, they need a fielding coach, though. Whoever they've got can't be it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the subcontinent in general don't practice fielding at yeah, all. Over, under, on dropped catches for Pakistan <laughs> in this series. <laughs> that's, a, that's an early one. Uh, so there's three series. games. <laughs> six. I, I'll set, I'll set six. the over, under at seven and a half. Seven and a half. <laughs> Think about it. They could drop like three a game, to be honest. They could. <laughs> three a game. Oh, to be fair, keeper is... Rizwa, oh, he's okay. No, no, keeper's... Fine. Keeper doesn't count. Keeper, uh, keeper will take Rizwa him. Rizwa will take him, yeah. Oh, all right. This is going to be. I'm going under, but you're going you over. You can just <laughs> see it at like mid on. They've skied it. It's gone up. And oh, I just hit him in the, <laughs> the face. The MCG and... crowd's going nuts. And then, oh, he's fucking. Yeah, on a so. Monday afternoon. That is a, that is a good one. That That's an early big question. I, I don't mind that over <laughs> under. Can we, can we bet on that? Can we bet on the over under? There should catches? be a market for that, shouldn't there? Anyway, that's just a funny little one because it's just funny that an Australian legend is coaching against Australia. So there we go. That's a bit of a funny one. Another funny one, as Aussie cricket fans, India lose a home test series to New Zealand. Jeez. Been a while. The, it, New Zealand won their first test match in 36 years over there. So I'm pretty sure, I, I need to look into this, but it's going to be over 50 years that they've won a test series yeah. in uh, in India. So And it's been a while wild. since India have lost in India, like a series in India. Mm. I think, oh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's going to be a while. Yeah. So unbelievable uh, the fact that India have lost. I I, New Zealand, I swear they're not that good, but they've just, they're just getting yeah. a little bit better the last couple of months. Like they've been Slowly going improving so, and it's helped with their test championship mm. as well. Yeah, it actually it has. kept them alive. It has. And it's gotten a little bit closer because you've got Australia and India right up there. England, nice and you low. You should be happy nice. that we play Australia and India, one or two play each other. Yes, yes. So they can move up the, uh, the ranks there. Very nice. All right, that's the news. <laughs> Let's get into what we all want to talk about here. Australia versus Pakistan ODI series starting yep. this Monday. Three match series, uh, as I talked about on last podcast, the past ODI meetings, Pakistan won 2-1 in Pakistan 2022. Australia won 4-1 in Australia in 2017. So we haven't really played them that much uh, yet in Australia since yep. 2017, which, <clears throat> yeah, so it's a bit of unknown there. But Jeez, that is a while. Th yeah, 2017. I don't know why it's been so long. We would have played India, More England, tests. New Zealand, played them in some test matches, but not one day is. Yep. Pakistan coming off a 2-1 test series win versus England. Yes. How do they, what? Basball should, <laughs> like Basball, as we've talked about for last year, should just and give they up. Why are they, they, why are they still doing that? They Wait, well, have they played three matches? I'm pretty sure. I'll double check that. They choked the first one mm. because England made 820. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, they have, yeah. Oh, hang on. No, no, they did. Pakistan won on day three. Biggest side, mate. What happened? <laughs> Pakistan won on day three. Session one. What? Where, where are the other ones? Here. There we go. Tied. 1-0 was the series. And then it was England 1-0. And then they've won. So Pakistan won test two and test three. What the hell? Yeah. Good what? job, Pakistan. I know. That, that, <coughs> that is wild. But test match doesn't go into ODI. No. If there's no. anything we learn about Pakistan is that form really doesn't matter. And we are all. Yeah, that's true. Pakistan could be looking like the best team in the world. And they crumble as we talked they about They did before. in that uh, 2021 World Cup. World Cup was there World at the Cup. final. And then uh, yeah. that Manny was a really good just match. took it away from him. Yep, England, England won that one. Uh, Australia last series just beat England 3-2 in the ODI, so they'll have a bit of confidence. Everyone's just beating England at the moment. Honestly, what their game plan got, oh, we play fun cricket at England. Uh, we, we just play such good cricket at the uh, England, England cricket. We just love it. Well, but then they lose are, all the time. They are, they are losing in the World Test Championship rankings. Yeah. But in the World Test Championship fun rankings, <laughs> oh, they are number one. Oh, what side's one. that? What side's that on? Uh, they are number one. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to look up that side, actually. <laughs> oh, geez. No, I don't want to look at your history. There we go. Uh, 
Yeah, but I just don't understand why they keep doing that. They're literally losing to everyone at the moment. So maybe yeah. just change their game plan, but they never will because Ben Stokes is a flog. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that about it? Yeah. Yeah. You All right. End the podcast. That's though, enough. That's no, we're not ending the podcast there. Australia versus Pakistan. Let's have a look at the squads for both these teams. Uh oh, I, actually we'll go to the predicted elevens. We're our predicted eleven. Our predicted <laughs> eleven, because obviously we don't know the Australian one just yet. We've got oh you can read it out, uh, Liam. I'll you. read Australia, you read Pakistan. Sure. That sounds good. <laughs> so we've gone with Travis Head, Matt Short opening. Yep. Mitch Marsh at three, Smith and Lavish Shane in the middle order, Maxwell at six. Yep. Could in- be a little higher, you mentioned before. Who, sure. Maxwell? Maxwell, is that, no. you said Marnus at five? You don't listen to oh, me. Who did you want to be higher? Inglis? No, I just said I think Marnus, if he plays, should be higher. Oh, okay. But. That's okay. We can keep reading it. What, you've there. thrown me off Sorry, Marnus, yeah, at five, yeah. Where are we? Josh Inglis <laughs> at seven. Yep. Stark, Cummins, Hazelwood, Zampa. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I think that's what the team yeah, should go for. A bit of experience. You've got Maxi yeah. and Inglis that can come in after Smith and Labuschagne, who aren't always the biggest hitters. I'd have Hardy over Labuschagne, but they'll probably, Hard- probably play Labuschagne. Yeah. 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 I would have Fraser McGurkin there somewhere <coughs> as well. But of course you would. Well, you you love a bit of Fraser McGurkin. I do, as well. I do, but Head and Short and Marsh is a good top three. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah, I really like that as well. I really am keen to see how Matt Short goes. They could all bowl too. True. Do you reckon is Mitch Marsh gonna bowl? I feel like he's probably had a few not. injuries. Definitely Matt Short will bowl. That's what Marnus thinks he's gonna bowl, but oh. I don't think he'll bowl. Can Marnus just, just focus on his bloody batting? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. If he He'll probably be a keeper or something. He will focus too much on his bowling mm. and he'll have a terrible summer with the bat and he'll be just like, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll bowl. Yeah. Man, it's your bat. Well, as Ma- uh, Marcus said on the last podcast, he said he should just keep and get Mark and Easer in all the teams. Um, I could not <laughs> keep up with that. <laughs> that was outrageous. Check it on the socials if you want to see a little replay I think Marcus, Marcus lost his mind. He lost his mind, didn't he? He did. He, he wanted uh, two people to come into the team, one guy to go out. Is it possible to get food poisoning from having a bad opinion? <laughs> oh, bang. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be watching this. Get no, in the, he won't. Get He's into him in the, the toilet. Right He's in the toilet. <laughs> Poor Marcus. But yeah, I, I really like that team. You got Inglis, I think, could even go up. I was going to say a little bit higher. He he opened for the T20s last year, a few matches. Yeah. I don't know. I reckon they might rotate that a little bit, but I really like him. Inglis could bat five, to be fair. Yeah. And then and talking about Inglis. Hardy at seven, to be honest. True. Yeah, yeah, you could. <clears throat> Talking about uh, Inglis, Alex Carey not picked in the squad at all. Yeah. I think that's a little bit stiff, but he, he has is, been he was really kind of bad leaning form. that way, though, mm. wasn't it, for a few years now? Yeah. Like, Inglis has been slowly introduced. And, yep. and he's been in a lot better form, even in the uh, state format. I well. also think I like the idea of having Carey focused for tests and Inglis for short form. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. It takes like Cam Green did a little bit. Yeah. It takes a pretty special wicket keeper bat to be. Elite over all three formats. Gilly is the only Gilly. one that I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah, yeah. I think like someone like Butler did it for Just a Butler? little bit. Even yeah, yeah. the test like he he failed at in the end. Like he's in the end, but at the start he was. Yeah, I agree with that. So like I like the idea that Carey's just playing shield, focusing on the test summer mm-hmm. um, because he's I think he's in, slowly improving. Yep. Uh, He's definitely good enough to be in this ODI team, but I think Inglis is as well. So I'm happy with Inglis specializing in the short form, carrying the long form. Yeah. Talking about Marcus, he'll be happy with that. He he just hates Alex Carey Does on this show. So he, yeah. I think I think that's fair. I think English definitely in the short form, as you mentioned, it's hard to go across all three. I, I wouldn't be surprised, I'm, as I'm gonna mention later, if English puts himself into uh yeah, his hand up for tests and things like that in the near so future. So you just want to contradict what I just said. No, I'm saying this summer, Alex Ooh. Carey for tests. In the future. So he's gonna say he's gonna be like Gilly and Master all three formats. Maybe. Maybe. Interesting. We'll have to that get into that later. Too. Anyway, that's the predicted eleven for Australia. I, I hope Jake Fraser McGurk gets in there because I just love watching the rooster. If it's 2-0 up, they'll be They'll changed. play him. They'll probably play... There might even be changes if it's 1-0, to be honest. Actually, Stoinis is the other one that they might pick because they, yeah. he always yeah, actually, gets picked yeah. for Australia. But I'd rather we Maxi don't, in We there. don't think he should No, play, we don't think be. he should play. So Good squad player. Good squad player, yeah. Anyway, let's get to everyone's favourite team. Everyone's Pakistan. Favorite team. <laughs> it's only Pakistan, really, and us. Uh, let's get into their predicted 11. We've got Sayyam Ayub and Abdullah Shafiq as the openers. Good Barbara Azam man. at number three, even though he's really out of form. Do we think that's okay? We think he should play and we, we are, love Bucking We are gospel. He's not going to be captain anymore, which I'll touch on. Though that means I think it will free him up. He's going to have a good summer, I think. Uh, Interesting. Big, uh, King Bobby. 
Mohamed Rizwan as the captain now. The Rizla. The Rizla. The Rizla. <laughs> at number four, captain and wicket keeper. Absolutely love him. I think he's going to be a great leader for Pakistan. Cameron Gulam at yep. five. Hasabula Khan, who a lot of people are yeah, not as familiar with, but I including think. Including me. Including you. <laughs> he's also a keeper, but I have Rizwan as the keeper. He's just come in as a specialist bat. Okay. Can now uh, go at a pretty high strike rate. I had a look before. You got Salman Agar at, what is that, seven. Shaheen Afridi at eight. Harris Rauf at nine. Oh, I've definitely gone the wrong numbers here. Anyway. Harris no, Rauf yeah, next. Mean- Nazim Shah, Mohammed Hasnain finishing off the yeah, ball. Yeah, you've got 11 players there. Have I? Oh, there we go. Yeah, but 9, it's 10, just 11. a very long tail. Very long tail because you've got Afridi, who is definitely just a bowler. He's not Where a batter. Where is Shadab Khan? Where so, is Fakir Zaman? There we go, Liam. What are they doing? Fakir Zaman. You like that segue? Yeah, great segue. <laughs> you don't have to say segue every single bloody hey, time. You've said it more, than, more times <laughs> than me this show. <laughs> no, I haven't. Anyway. You said it twice. Oh, did I? I can't even remember. This is just a blur, this show. Fakir Zaman and Shadab Khan not picked in the squad. Obviously, Zaman is an older player, 34. I'm trying to see how old... Shut up, Khan is. He is Wait, 26. So he's still, 26. To, he's still supposed to be in his prime, that man. With the beautiful beard. So Khan was dropped because of form, right? Yeah, so he, stiff, he's man. got what? I think it was 15 wick- wickets in 17 ODI matches in the past year and a half. Then he had three wickets in 12 T20 matches. So he's out of form. At the best, at his best, though, he's their, he's one of their best players. I'd I, argue he is their best I player. I agree. Anyways. And then he can win a match off his own. He can even off his own bat. Like, he averaged 22. That is a he's lot a better than- He's a fantastic batsman. Fantastic that's, bowler. That's a lot better than their whole tail. Like, that's a long tail. So that, I think the only thing they're worried about is his bowling. But even if he can help their tail, like, wag a little bit, get a few more extra runs, get a 20 extra runs, I don't see a Freedy Ralph- Shah or Hasnain making over 20 There's runs a against a huge Australia. reliance on that top four, isn't there, I think? I think that we've said that the last, <coughs> well, how long have we been doing this show? A couple of years. That if Baba or Rizwan doesn't make runs, yeah. they're cooked. Are you and Shafiq at the top? Yeah, they're, okay. they're solid, yeah. Gulam. They need a lot of 50 to 100 run partnerships, which is going to be tough against Australia. I just think that, yeah, they've missed the trick not picking either of them. I think Zaman could bat three. Mm-hmm. You can move Baba to four, Rizwan to five. Khan at six. That's a way more fearsome batting lineup. Or yeah. you could even put um, Rizwan at six, get Gulam in. And Rizwan at Khan six, at seven. Oh, I like him up, up to the I order. know, but he can he's, he can also hit a ball, Rizwan. Like yeah. He can play later. Yeah. It's a tough squad to pick because, yeah, you take out Zaman and Khan, it's like, ooh, ooh yeah. this is a bit less depth. But they've gone with that. They're, they're confident after beating England. I know it was in the test, but they'll be pretty confident. We've got Rizwan, as we mentioned last week, was set to be named as the white ball captain. He now is, so he's the captain of this side. Baba steps down to concentrate on improving his batting and time with his family. He had a tweet out uh, yesterday or the day before saying <clears throat> that, yeah, he wants to spend more time with his family and concentrate on his batting. I genuinely think if you're the captain of India or Pakistan, the pressure on you, this is what I said last podcast, yeah. is insurmountable. Like, it, it is crazy. That's a big word. Yeah, this is a big word. I'll have How to try and spell, spell it later. Yeah, I'll get into that. That's on our Spelling Bee podcast if you want to check that out. Uh, spelling today. <laughs> spelling today. I love spelling. No. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you are the captain, you have so much pressure. You have to do probably so much media more than any other country. I'd say. Would you Would you agree with that? Like you, yeah. Well, we if don't you know do something wrong, extent, right? You like, get booed not, in those yeah. countries. You get like riots. Like yeah, yeah I don't know. So, <laughs> do you think it will help his uh, batting? I think it definitely help. Yeah. yeah. Um, will it impact Rizwan? Oh, maybe. Imagine Imagine Baba starts averaging fifty plus again, and then Rizwan is averaging ten. Like, oh, how tall bad. is Rizwan? That is a random question that I will try and answer. He's pretty small, right? Why Why are you saying that? I don't know. He, just, he looks Oh, like my a, God. He's smaller than me by a fair bit. 170. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty small. He's yeah, like, what's that? Five, seven? Yeah. Jeez. Five, six? Don't mind it. Why, why are you asking no, that? I just had a thought. Just had a thought? Wanted what? to say it. Oh, my God. And him next to, if you want to have a look at a funny photo, him next to uh, Afridi is about half his height. <laughs> Not half, but that would be pretty, pretty, pretty wild. About a neck. But yeah, we're pretty surprised about the uh, the Pakistan squad, especially Shut Up Khan. Can they put up a fight against Australia? That's one of the big questions in this series, or even in the first match. We'll well, one, first match at the G, can they put up a fight? One thing we haven't touched on yeah. is the they have a lot of pace in this attack. Yes, which will be fun at the G. So I think it can yeah. it can fight. Mm-hmm. So Shaheen Afridi can bowl 140. Harris Ralph can bowl 150. 150. Nassim Shah can bowl 150. Yeah. Mohamed Asnain can bowl 150. Can he bowl 150? He was at the he was the one at the Thunder a few years ago. He was, right? he was, yes. And he can bowl fast. Let what? me just look that no, up. No, that's um, while you chat to the people, stats guy. <laughs> chat to the people. How chat we to the people. How are we going, people? No, I don't I don't remember Hasnain bowling 150. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, really? He bowls quick. 
He's the guy that played for the Thunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <clears throat> he bowls quick. So, so that could help. You did mention last podcast that one of Australia's weaknesses is those quicker bowlers. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> yes, definitely. So it's enough to, I guess, make a game of this. Yep. I'm looking at this though, and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. You know? Yeah, like, <laughs> it's just about everything. Because or... my initial thought diving into this is like, it's going to be a low low scoring because I think both bowlers can get on top of the batting. Yeah. That's what, I, that's what I'm leaning towards, yeah. But then I'm just like, but we got Trav Ball and Matt Short and they could just did 60 off 30 I and think, just kill the game. As you said know, about like, Pakistan, the top order, like I Smith can anchor in innings. Marnus possibly. Marnus is in really out of form. Glenn Maxwell's coming back off injury. Josh Inglis is pretty inexperienced. I think if Head, Short and Marsh fail at the top, we're going to struggle. But in saying mm. that, we could still bowl them out. You know what I mean? So I reckon this could be With really low deeper. scoring. We yeah. that a lot deeper. I reckon if you go into the match, get there early because it could be a pretty quick uh, – both teams I reckon could bowl each yeah, other out. Yeah, I think if we bowl, if we bowl first, mm -hmm. we can bowl them out for 200, to yeah. be honest. That, yeah. that gives us a, bit, a good chance. I, I agree. Teams that may be batting second might have a better chance at winning this one, I think. Oh, okay. There just based on how both teams are just – Situated. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. That's fair. Yep. So <laughs> the other big question I just chucked in there were any of the younger Aussies step up this series? In our predicted eleven, there is not many young guys there in there. There is two of them. Who? No? Connolly and Fraser Mc. Oh, in the eleven. No, in the eleven. Men in the squad. Well, we could go to the squad. Is anyone in that Australian squad? I think they'll all get, get a chance. They'll all get a game, right? Yeah. Hardy's. Is he a young guy? He's young to the team. Yeah, no, I, I think Hardy's pretty young. Yeah, Hardy could be the yeah, the, the, the outlier. Twenty-seven. Yeah. Twenty-five. That's pretty. Oh, that's pretty young. very young. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm 24, so I hope yeah, I'm yeah, old. yeah. That's old, man. <laughs> oh, I reckon he could step up for sure. But how old's Inglis now? Actually, that's the other one. I think they all get a game, but yeah, Inglis is 29. If we're two 0 up, I think Connolly, Fraser, McGurk will play in the same Connolly. team. Connolly, if it's actually Connolly's the one we're sort of all forgetting about. I reckon he could Are take we? it. Like he's a very, very good young player. We just got too many good players. This is what we said. Fraser last... McGurk's better than Connolly, though. Uh yeah, yes. but Connolly bowls. Fraser McGurk can bowl some tweakers. <laughs> Why this went? I don't, know. I I don't think, think has I think he bowled I'm... has he bowled an over in the Big Bash ever before? Not in the Big Bash, but he's bowled. I'm pretty sure for, for uh, his local South team, Australia or Victoria. No, for for Richmond. Oh, really? <laughs> Richmond. I think that's where he played. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let, he can, I think let's he go and look at his stats for Richmond. Then that that would get him in the Australian. I'd rather actually. I'd rather have him bowl than Bloody Manus. Oh, I agree. Wait, no, I don't agree. <laughs> yeah, with that. clip it. Wait, that's my job. <laughs> Wait, Leo, clip it. Don't clip it. More work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, the other big question we already sort of touched on about Cam Bobba. Bobba? Bobba. Bobba. Well, same sort so of thing. Bobba Cam Bobba's arm gets some form back. We mentioned it. I think him not being <laughs> captain will help him out, and uh, Pakistan fans will be pretty happy with that. I think he can. This is how I envision it, though. Okay, so here reckon, we go. I reckon the uh, Mystic Leo over here. <laughs> Mystic Leo. <laughs> What did Marcus say? His big call was, I get everything wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not a big call. That's just, like a, that's just pretty standard. That's like everyday life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> same are you. I'll touch on it. He'll go at a high strike rate. Yep. Shafiq will probably go to go at a runner ball okay. or would like to. Mm -hmm. And then once one wicket falls, Bubba will come in and Anchor the innings. he'll go at like six, a 60 strike no, rate. No, that's not what we want to see, do we? No, no, but he'll make like, he'll probably make 60 off 100. Okay. okay. And it's like perfect. That's good numerology when you see the 60, the 100, the 60 strike. That's pretty good. He'll go at that. <laughs> he'll slow up the innings. Rizwan will probably go at a little bit more than that, and then right. they'll, they'll teeter out. That's right. my, my prediction. I honestly don't mind that. I agree. I think they're going to make a few runs, that top four, and then they're cooked. So he'll average, I think he'll average high, but his strike rate will be low. Okay. That's my prediction. Yep. If he plays, he, this is our predicted 11. He, he should, should play. play. He should play because should play. as we're looking at their batting, it's not very good. <laughs> And he should play. And he he's not captain anymore. He'll be fired up to uh, make, an, make an impact. All right. Predictions for, we'll go the series and then the first match at the MCG. So we said this Ooh. on last show, but you might have changed your mind. Australia versus Pakistan. The squads are out. What are you predicting this three-match series? Leo. 3-0 Australia. 3-0. Aus Australia. Australia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Australia, man. Oh, 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 there goes the mic. Sorry, Gerald. <laughs> sorry, the sorry mic. to the audience. Yeah, yeah. That was a um, uh, Pakistan fan what, ran past. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Was a like Pakistan a, fan ran past and hit your mic. <laughs> the ghost of Bobby or something. <laughs> Cover drive knocks it over. Yeah, there you go. That's crazy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think I touched it. That's all right. Um, your what, did I, what, um, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the moon? Um, the three, nil, three nil Australia. Yep. I think they'll win at the G. If we bat second, mm -hmm. I think we'll win 
six wicket by six wickets. If we bowl second, 40, 50 runs. 40, 50 runs. All right. I'm going to go <laughs> Pakistan. Oh, wait, no. Australia 2-1 for the Jesus. series. All right. I think they could get a random game. They're confident. And I do reckon I've I've gone to a lot of matches at the MCG, <laughs> and for some reason, if we lose a match, in, if it's Test, ODI, things like it's that, at the G. it's at the G. It's I don't know why. I've been to a lot of matches where we've lost. We've lost to Pakistan in the past. We've lost to Sri Lanka. We've lost to England a lot there. I think that that's one of the places that we can lose, especially with this really fast bowling attack. Yeah, actually, I just want to sorry to interject. But that's okay. The just on that fast bowling attack yes. that Pakistan have. Yeah, they. So the G's. Big, big, true. Wide. Yeah, very big. Very short, straight. Yep. So if they've got all this pace and, like, all we have to do is just edge it, it's probably going to <laughs> six. Backstop. Put a backstop behind but the But, like, <laughs> think about it. So, like, they've got to execute their short ball bowling in a way that it's, like. Pull we, shots, catch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pull shot, hit, catch. Pull, like, pull and hook shots yeah. deep. But it's such accurate. a fine line mm. because then if we just edge it, it's going to go for six, how quick they bowl. True. But we're well, not we, going to get 100 runs off edges, but, yeah. Well, we gently could. Well, they, like, they bowl fast, and yeah. if they if they go short, then put in a fly slip. It's going to be a very interesting tactic, I think. All right, there you go. Especially at the G, at the G, at the G. That's why I'm leaning towards Pakistan in <laughs> the first one. Australia absolutely smash them after that because if we lose the first one, the media will be like all over Australia. They'll no, be fired up. You don't reckon? It's just it's too early. Guys. Too early. No, I, re I reckon it will. So <laughs> two one Australia, but that first match at the G, which we're going to be there, uh, yeah, Pakistan will win. I will win. Okay. Clip that up, Leo. There we go. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Leo's just had it. He's had enough. All right. Big call for the Australia-Pakistan series is our next little segment here. Marcus isn't here. What would his big call? Yeah, could we, I was just could we predict that. his big call even though he's not here? My big call <laughs> is that... <laughs> is that these big calls that these idiots yeah, say will not be right. Oh, why has he gone full, oh, no. full uh, Lebanese? There we go. What are you what? got? <laughs> Um, What's your I'm, big call here? Ayub from Pakistan and Matt yep. Shaw from Australia both average over 35. <laughs> yep. And have a strike rate over 110 for the whole series. For the whole series? The whole I don't series. mind that. So they're so both very explosive batsmen. Both Ayub's openers. young coming into his career. Same he's as a very exciting young bat. And yep. Short, he's a bit older, but I think he's just, yeah, one of he's those in ones his prime. With, with head. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very <laughs> explosive. Top order. What was that? Very. <laughs> Very. Yeah, that was nice. Whiskey. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> yeah, All right. My big call for the series is Josh Inglis will have a breakout series. 40 plus average. I think yep. he'll have a few not outs in there that will bump up his average. And he's going to insert himself. 40, so we've, sorry, we've got him at seven. No, I'm putting him up the order. Maybe oh, okay. five or six. What if he does bad seven though? If he does bad seven, he could get like heaps <laughs> of not outs and then make You need him to make, yeah, like a 40 not out and then he makes yeah. zero. And gets out, <laughs> and then gets, yeah. Yes, 40 there we go. There we go. I think no, but I think he's going to bat at least twice in this series. Forty plus average. Uh, he's been in awesome form. He's got two hundreds for WA the last month, and averaged thirty nine runs against England across the four matches over there. I think Pakistan. Really? Yeah. So he had a forty seven, a thirty eight, and then a couple of not outs. That, where, where, did, where did he bat in that? That's a very good question. Actually, let's have a quick look at that. Probably you should have looked at that. We should have probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not very prepared here. So the last one that we played was an Australia win by four. We smoked them. We smoked England. They're, smoked they're, they're yeah, pretty crap. Three two. He so batted at four, but that was with what? a very different team. Cooper Connolly played. Hardy played. There we go. If he bats at four, he's going to average fifty. I reckon. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. He batted at four, so. <laughs> I reckon he could be in between team, that though. five to seven mark. It's going to be a different team probably because they're going to pick a full strength team here in Australia. He could bat anywhere from opening to seven though, couldn't yeah, he? Yeah, because he's opened before. So yeah, I think he's going to have a big series. <laughs> I reckon he's going to insert himself as a multi-format player. I reckon by the end of the summer, people are going to be going, he should be in the test team. Alex Carey's cooked as uh, Marcus has been talking about for a long time. I do not agree with those people. That's okay. I think they, they are not so my I'm, people. Yeah, I'm not your people. Never were. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, I'm calling it. There's a bit of uh, tension going on here. That stumps for the Cricket Today show. We'll be back with this show uh, next Wednesday. So after the public holiday in uh, Melbourne, I was going to say everywhere else, but just in Melbourne, we'll be back with You're this. You're telling me Wednesday. Pakistan don't have a public holiday <laughs> for, the for the Melbourne Cup? Cup? They should. It's the race that stops Get Pakistan, it. isn't it? That's, isn't that what they call it? Yeah, so we'll be back with this for a huge ODI uh, review. So we'll be at the match. Check out the socials across that. It's going to be some funny ones. We're going to try and meet King Bobby. When he's on the sidelines, but hopefully he doesn't get picked. And then we could, uh, yeah, while he's panning out the drinks, we can uh, have a little chat. Can we just him. have like a camera set up on him? A bobby cam. And it's, it just <laughs> tracks him. We don't have to do anything. It just a live, follows him around. I reckon if we went live on anything and just had a bobby cam, it would go off. Am I, well, am I just right? title it bobby cam. Yeah, <laughs> King Bobby Cam. 
Jeez. There we go. So make sure you check out the socials. You want to get the spelling right on that one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Anyway, uh, get a ride around the show. Thank you very much, Joe, behind the camera. Thanks, Leo, for turning up. Thank you, Stats Guy. Uh, shout out to Marcus. I uh, hope he gets better soon. Send in any questions on the socials, on the YouTube. We want some more fan interactions in the comments because we've got a lot of fans yep. out there. So get around it. Thank you very much to me. And that's another episode of Cricket Today Done. We're out. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.